A word of the day. A word of the day comes from the book of Psalms, verse 73, chapter 73, verse 26. It says, my heart, my, says, my flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Amen. Flesh and my heart may fail. My flesh and my heart fail. But God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Amen. Think about this verse. I think about how we ourselves, our flesh tells us that we don't need God, that we can do these things on our own. We, we have control of our lives and we just need to do what we need to do to do what has to be done. But as we learn and we start to be on this journey and as God starts to open our eyes and our hearts to him and he calls us in, we see that he is the strength of our heart. God dwells in our hearts. This is the place where the evil one dwells in our minds, but God dwells in our hearts. So the flesh is in the mind. The problems that we have are going on in our minds that we, we see and we do and all the things, telling us all these things is, is not of God. They're from the evil one. But I, we realize that God is our strength. In Jeremiah 17, verses 9 and 10, it says, The heart is deceitfully, is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Only God knows our hearts. Only God knows the wounds that we have suffered in our lives, the things that's happened to us, the things that that keep us from, you know, totally surrendering and giving everything to him, the things that people have done, the experiences that we had. God knows it all, and it all starts in our hearts. That's where it lives. This is why God says he'll give us a new heart and a new flesh because he takes those things out and I'm getting way ahead of myself, but it's okay. It says, I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruits of his doing. It's very important. God searches the heart. He knows. You know, he tests us, of course. He we, we go through tests every day. We go through tests with people. We go through tests of things that happen. Do we give it to the Lord? Do we try to do it ourselves? Do we get offended by what people say? And, and do we get into arguments with them or fights? The reason all of these things are happening out of the world is because they do not know God. Man can never, ever get it right. But as we come to him and we understand who he really is, and we really understand that he knows each and every one of us, he knows what's in our hearts. This verse, he searches the heart. This journey is about bringing us to be like him, to love like him, to walk like him, just like he did when he was here, to change us. Praise the Lord for that, because we all realize that. Can we do these things on our own? No. We can read a bunch of books and listen to a lot of lectures and go to a lot of YouTube and Twitter and stuff, but no, it will not do anything. It's God that has to do it. He searches our minds and our hearts, and he tests us. He brings us closer and closer to him every day, every day. We get closer and closer to him. In Psalms 84, verse 2, it says, My soul longs 
Yes, even faint for the counts of the Lord, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Praise the Lord for that. This is where we are getting to. We have troubles, we have sorrows, we have pains, we have sickness and illness and we, this is when our hearts and flesh need to cry out to our God because he is the one that can deliver us. Praise the Lord for that. Praise the Lord for that. Ezekiel 36, 26, it says, and I will give you a new heart and I will put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Praise the Lord. He will do it. Not we will do it, but he will do it. He will change our hearts. He will bless us. He fills us with his Holy Spirit. Because this is what will set us apart from the rest of the world. Those that walk in darkness, those that don't follow him. Because we have this new heart and we have this spirit of him. Things to bring more people to him. Because they will see and understand that we are different. We are chosen. We are followers of our Lord Jesus Christ. And through him and only him, he will do what he said he will do in each and every one of us. So we are on this journey. You know, some people are farther along in the journey than others. Some people are, you know, I don't know if they're almost there or not, but the fact that, you know, God is doing a mighty work in all of us. And we do have things in our heart that have we have to let go. We have to let go of the past, the things that hurt us before, the people that's hurt us before. We have to confess those things and get prayer for it because that's how he changes our hearts. He knows. Some things he will just outright take away and they won't affect us anymore. We won't have issues with it. But there are things where we have to confess and say, Lord, you know, I know I don't need this in my heart and I don't want this in my heart. You got some, Pastor Steve? Oh. Praise Sorry. the Lord. Praise the Lord. And Matthew 5, verse 8 says, Blessed are those who are pure at heart for they shall see God. Amen for that. Okay. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this word. We thank you for just showing us that um, you are our strength. You are our deliverer. You are our helper in our time of needs. You are cleansing us. You are blessing us. You are helping us. We want to be just like David. We want to have a heart like you. And we know you have to do the work in order for that to happen. But if you we are willing, you are able. So I just lift us all up today that we all can be willing. I pray that you bless everyone today on this call. Give us a wonderful day. Give us your protection, your guidance, your love today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Lord, bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.